Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. As from St. Armand this morning, boy, I tell you what, it came down hard and heavy with rainfall rates of up to three inches per hour, just really producing some, some pretty good flooding on some area roadways. At St. Armand's, the storms moved in with some gusty winds as well, and we had some reports just offshore of some 50 mile an hour winds. We also see some damage at uh, Longbow Key Club, where apparently a skylight was uh, blown in. Um, and uh, we're thankfully there were no reports so far of any injuries with this storm moving through, but numerous trees have been pulled down as well. Slow go at St. Armand's. A lot of that water now dissipating. But I'll tell you what, this similar sort of event is now setting up for points south. Let's take a look at the current temperature, 73 degrees, cooled off a little bit by the cloud cover and the uh, downdraft winds. That's kind of nice, actually, to get that little bit of cooling at this time of year when our normal high would be about 90 degrees. The dew point value is still high at 71, and a south wind blows at about 6, and there are thunderstorms around. 82 degrees, Wachula, uh, Arcadia at 85, 80, Mayaka City, 77, Parish, Lakewood Ranch, and Bradenton. A little bit further to the south, we've had a little bit more sunshine, so a little bit more heating going on at Punta Gorda, where it's 84, 84 in Northport, 82 in Inglewood and Venice, 79 degrees, Longboat Key. In fact, areas just to the south of Fort Myers, they've had a fair amount of sunshine, and that's actually not a good thing. That helps to destabilize our atmosphere and perhaps set up a situation where anywhere from about Venice, where you see this line of showers all the way down south toward Fort Myers, we could have a very, very heavy rain event. And I mean, maybe in the course of three hours, five inches of rainfall setting up as one shower after another after another moves over the same locations. These are all the reports this morning of some wind gusts that were significant. And in fact, we had one thunderstorm wind just offshore of Longbow Key reporting a 51 mile per hour gust. Right now, very heavy rainfall moving in from Osprey down through Venice and really all the way back toward Arcadia, Wachula, heading out into Highlands County. These storms will be a series of storms moving on shore. And as I mentioned, the rainfall rates are significant. Not seeing anything here that signals any kind of rotation. I'm not seeing shear markers. I'm not seeing any uh, velocity reports of heavy uh, rotation at mid levels. But we are seeing some hail associated with some of these cells, and that certainly is a possibility as they move on shore. So we'll be watching from that, particularly from Venice southward, some possibility of some small to even medium sized hail. And between these lines that I have drawn is the location where there is the potential for some very, very heavy rainfall this afternoon. I would say that if you at all possibly can stay off the roadways anywhere between these lines, eh, probably a good idea this afternoon. These are the hail markers right here, and these kind of light blue shaded areas are what we call hail zones, the location where there is the potential for some hail as these storms move on shore. So you can see through Venice, Osprey possibly, northern parts of uh, Northport, through Boca Grande, into Rotunda, possibility of some minor hail associated with some of these storms, indicating some very strong updrafts and some pretty good uh, downpours of torrential rain. What's the situation here? Well, we have a frontal boundary still located to the north, almost stalled out with little areas of low pressure kind of riding along that front, helping to destabilize our atmosphere. And like little wheels on a conveyor belt, they sling back little bits of energy toward the Gulf Coast. And then there's that convergent line down to the south that produced all the heavy weather yesterday down in the southern tip of the state where they had some 10 inch rainfalls. Well, what's happening is that the showers are beginning to park themselves as that little convergent line kind of merges in central Florida. And that will lead to those heavy rainfalls. So for today, some strong storms, periods of heavy rain, gusty winds out of the southeast creating rip current issues. And a small craft advisory, obviously it's a lousy day to be a boater. Don't go out into the waters. The good news is that after these low pressure areas move on past, I think by about Friday or so, we'll probably see some relaxation in our, in our rain chances as we get a brief little period to dry out before rain showers kind of return in the afternoons on Saturday and Sunday. So Scott, for the rest of this afternoon, if you can stay indoors and you live between oh, Venice or Osprey and down south toward the mouth of Charlotte Harbor. Probably a good idea for the next couple hours. All right, John, thank you so much.